my name is uh, Chuck Duel Le Neuel. I work at Central Nantes. I did my master's degree in uh, mechatronics, in mechanical engineer, electronics, and computer science. Following that experience with uh, some of my friends, we started a company, a startup in 3D printing. We designed, assembled, and sold uh, 3D printers uh, all around France. After that, Jean-Yves Vasquet, uh, researcher at Central Nantes, proposed to me to do a PhD here at the school. The topic was on design for additive manufacturing of sand molds uh, made by 3D printing for sand casting. Uh, that lasted about three years. We had um, lots of education, I did some uh, international prizes in, in the United States for best scientific paper. I was a research engineer for two years at Central Nantes. An opening as an associate professor was uh, proposed at Central Nantes, and here I am today doing research here. I decided to join Central Nantes because they are one of the best researching uh, laboratory in uh, additive manufacturing in Europe. We have some state-of-the-art equipment uh, such as this machine that we've had for about over 11 years. It's one of the first machines that have uh, multiple material uh, laser melting. Um, therefore, we can do novel things that no, nobody else can. The philosophy of uh, the rapid manufacturing platform is to have unique machines that are made for us that are not on catalog and that we can uh, have something unique about it so we can do some unique research on it. Exactly. At the Rapid Manufacturing Platform, I work on uh, multiple machines and multiple aspects, but uh, mainly what we can say is, is I work on uh, toolpath trajectories. Uh, we apply that to uh, many different types of machines I mean, the processes, mainly we, we do it on additive manufacturing. We, additive manufacturing is also known as 3D printing. It's a um, it's novel technology, about 30 years old. And we work on the toolpath. The toolpath is what makes the part. The, the, the toolpath is also redefined really on the machine, the process, and the parameters we want to have. And also on the material. We have multiple machines. We have some that make plastic parts, some make metal parts. And with metal, we actually can work with powder and, uh, and wire. And all those specificities will impact uh, the toolpath and uh, the, the, the part qualities. We, um, we also work on uh, dis designing our own machines. During my PhD, we actually applied and were granted uh, three patents on uh, a novel machine of one axis of freedom to make sand casting parts, to make them uh, faster, cheaper, and, um, and better, hopefully. <laughs> with uh, multiple uh, laboratories uh, but we also work with uh, different labs like in Paris where we do simulation with a uh, Lensam. Uh, so we work try to transfer the technology with different size of companies. We more recently started to develop a partnership with uh, SNCF to make uh, parts for the trains. Well, when I applied for, to be an associate professor at Central Nantes, I proposed the three main um, paths. The first one was to 3D print big metallic parts, uh, which is an ongoing project and we have a lot of prospects on it. The second one is uh, bio 3D printing. Bio is, it could be within the body, it could be some metal parts, it could be living cells. We started to work with, on some project with that, but uh, a little bit less. And finally, the third aspect, which we have not been working on yet, but I really want to bring that experience, is 3D printing in space. I believe that there's a lot of advantages to 3D print uh, metal parts uh, in space, and uh, we would like to, I would like to research that a bit more. <laughs>